Hello, everybody. This is Michael. Um, in this video, we will talk about the image processing Sobel real-time edge detection 02. Okay. So uh, this video will focus on the camera sensor OV2640 interface. Okay. So uh, in previous video, we get the uh, system uh, structure like this. So this is uh, uh, this is the camera interface. We will uh, talk about the sensor, the camera sensor about the uh, OV two six four zero. Okay. So if you um, Google it, you can get the data. Uh, this sensor is quite popular. Uh, and it's very easy. Uh, you can easily get it from the different places. And there is lots of version about it. Okay. And so if you click here and you will to open the data sheet like this. So this is the data sheet for the sensors. It is a color CMOS camera sensors. Okay. So um, for this data sheet, we focus two things, okay? The first thing is uh, when you read the data sheet, you will, uh, you will ha have this kind of uh, um, image and the, these pictures. Um, when you first take a look at these pictures, they will so uh, this is blue, green, blue, green, blue, green, and, G, uh, and the green, red, some kind of things. And uh, um, maybe you will think about what, what about this, the, the, the mapping, the array, the sensor array, what's, what's that? Okay, the first things you will have to know it. this is a buyer pattern. It's a buyer filter, okay. So um, let's let's take a look what is buyer pattern. So when you Google it, you will get the wiki about it, okay. So this is a bio field, and let's take a look at it. So um, this is the buyer field, and it's very important for our uh, the image processing. Uh, and this is this is uh, uh, Output for map. Okay, so you will see here. This is buyer field. So uh, the, every pixel it only filter one color. For example, this is red. Okay, this is green, and this is this is blue. Okay, so only one only uh, one pixel only present one color. Uh, if we go back, back here, one pixel, this is uh, pixel zero, pixel uh, zero one, okay. Every pixel only represent one color. This is blue, this is green, blue, green. But if you look at the data sheet, they will tell you the, the sensor can output Format is RGB uh, five six five. Okay, so this is RGB five six five, and there is um, two by to present one color, and there is RGB color. So how they uh, convert from uh, this to the RGB uh, five six five colors? We go back to here. So here, take a look here. Um, for this pattern, for this uh, buyer filter, that each pixel is filtered to recall only one of three colors. But they will use algorithms to uh, get a set of red, green and blue value for each pixel 
from the labor ah from the labor uh, environment surrounding pixels from the labor pixel data algorithm that is algorithm to uh, calculate it okay data algorithm to calculate it. so uh, this color uh, this uh, pixel color is is match for what is match for the raw RGB color okay so when we want to get the RGB by 6 five, we needed setting the register and it will convert this raw color to the RGB uh, 565 car 565 colors okay so um so there is a DSP here you will see here so there is a DSP and convert the raw data the raw RGB data from here from the image array to different output okay output to different format and the output to like this so this is RGB565 um, and uh, format so uh, this is 2 byte so this is high byte a bit this is lower byte a bit okay so uh, R is 5 bit 1 2 3 4 5 and the green is 6 bit 1 2 3 4 5 6 and this one blue is also 5 1 2 3 4 5 okay so this is a format and uh, for the RGB output okay and we usually use this kind of uh, we usually use this kind of uh, output format we set in the uh, camera sensor register it can output this format it's very important for the image processing because we have to know the output date format and we can uh, get the uh, get the separate RGB and we can do the image processing right okay um, so um, this is the first thing we need to understand the sensor array it represents the raw data the raw RGB data and uh, by the algorithms by the algorithm inside the DSP output the different RGB format like the 565 okay so this is the first thing about the camera sensors the second thing for the um, for the FPGA we need to know the uh, interface of the sensors okay so um this is a camera sensor this is FPGA and what does the control sensors the control interface and is here let's take a look here so this is a function function block okay so um the first things um, let's take a look here okay so this is um, this is a SCCB uh, interface actually this is a I2C interface uh, just a different name to avoid the uh, to avoid some uh, pattern right things this is uh, actually I2C this is clock this is date and uh, so this is a uh, clock for the for the sensors and uh, we will to so we can use the FPGA to generate the clock for the sensors in some uh, camera module in some camera sensor module this one also can provide by a separate crystal Okay, this also can provide by a separate crystal. 
And uh, so this is I2C communication interface. So we, we put it here. This is clock from the FPGA to the camera sensor. This is clock. This is date. And this is um, in and out. It's a uh, bio direction. Okay. So this is uh, I2C uh, communication uh, interface. It will set in the register. Okay, so this is a, a register bank to set in the register to control the sensors. And this is a reserve pin. So here, it is here. So this is a reset. The reset pin will reset sensors. Okay. So this is a power dot. This is power dot. And this is a control interface. Control interface. The FPGA will use the I2C to set in the different value of the uh, camera sensors. Also use these two pin to reset it or power down the sensors. And the next the next part will be uh, is particularly for the image processing. Okay. And uh, let's take a look at this one. Okay. Uh, the most important thing, this is a pixel clock. And pixel clock is like uh, uh, telling you um, each clock output uh, one pixel or half of the pixel. Why it is half, pic half of pixel? Because if you're using this format, we need two by to present one pixel colors. Okay. So this is a pixel. This is a And this is a horizontal reference. Okay. So this is horizontal reference output. And uh, uh, this will be vertical. Okay. This is vertical synchronized output. Okay. And uh, if we take a look at this uh, timing, so yeah, we it will be very clear. So um, here this is horizontal. This is high level a variable. So this output the um the data one row data the pixel data, and this is vertical. This is vertical syn synchronized. And you will see here, so this is low level will be a uh, effect, and this is output all the data from from here to here. Okay, so this is a uh, um, camera interface. Uh, we discuss about the control control part, and this is uh, um, this is the data part. We can set in the data as the ten B or eight B. Uh, if we use in the RGB, um, if we use RGB five six five more, we set in the uh, data it's eight B. Okay, so this one is very important for our image processing. This is for control the sensors. Okay, so uh, that's it. So this is for the camera sensor OV uh, two six four zero interface. It's a hardware interface for the uh, communication with the FPGA uh, for image processing. Okay, uh, next time we will to discuss about the uh, display part, about how the, the, the interface, about uh, how to uh, output the image to the LCD and uh, how to connect uh, all the signal to the LCD. Okay, so um, that's it. This is Michael. Um, thank you for your watching. I hope you uh, like it.